You, you say in another piece that Australia is hostile to the nuclear family, which I take it to mean husband, wife and two children. Uh, and if, if we're hostile to that, does this come from the present government or has it been in place with both governments? Is there some uh, unanimity among politicians in reducing or being hostile in public policy to the nuclear family? Yeah, look, I'd say this has been pretty much going on since the turn of the century. So there, there's some you know, pretty good research from uh, HSBC Bank and it said that basically for every 10% increase in Australian house prices, you get a 1.3% decline in the birth rate. And what we've seen is obviously since the early 2000s, um, we've, we've seen Australian house prices shoot shoot through the roof. They've rocketed. And to nobody's surprise, and at the same time we've seen, and part of the reason for that um, is we've also had, you know, this very high immigration since the mid-2000s. So Australia's population has grown by 8.3 million people this century, which is an extraordinary number of people, and that's put more pressure on housing, obviously. It's uh, driven up house prices, and also HSBC also noted that rents uh, is even, um, a rising rents is even worse for uh, the birth rate. So this high population growth we've had really for 20 years has made the problem worse because it's added to, obviously, house price inflation, and it's also added to rental inflation, and uh, it's kind of culminated last calendar year whereby Australia's, the number of births in Australia actually fell to uh, just 104,000, which is pretty much a record low. And Australia's birth rate fell to just over 1%, which is incredibly low figure. And basically the, the, the government is trying to compensate for this lower birth rate by running a higher immigration policy, but that higher immigration policy is pushing up house prices and rents, which is therefore... Uh, pushing down the birth rate. So it's effectively, you know, a self-defeating policy in that respect. 